This is Jose from Smart Choice. In this demonstration, we're going to go over how to use the Smart Connector. Uh, the first thing we need to do is download the application. And I'm going to open up a new tab. I'm going to go to google.com. Enter. And then in the search bar, I'm going to put Polycom. Desktop Connector. The very first link you see, Desktop Connector, application for voice, click on that. It's going to take you to the Polycom web page. You want to scroll down. And where it says Download Desktop Connector, click on Application Download. The Save box appears. You want to click OK. Once it's downloaded, now you can install the application. I'm going to double click on that. Hit one, hit next. I'm going to click on accept, hit next, hit next again, and install. And yes. And now, where it says launch Polycom Desktop Connector, I'm going to click on finish. I'm going to close this box, and I'm going to minimize this. What you're going to notice in the taskbar, which is down here, a small new icon appears and that is the polycom desktop connector and it's currently grayed out so what this does is it connects to your polycom vvx 500 or vvx 600 or even vvx 1500 and it gives you total control using your mouse and keyboard where you can actually make an outbound call using those two functions and you can just move your cursor around to the actual screen. Now, what I need to do is look for my IP address. So I'm gonna click on start, type run, press enter. And then at this box, I'm gonna type CMD and press okay. The DOS prompt appears and I'm gonna type in IPCONFIG, then press enter. And I'm gonna scroll to the top right here where it says IP address. This is the IP address of my laptop. And the actual phone needs this in order to connect to it. So now I'm gonna go to my phone and enter this IP address. And I'm gonna show you on the Polycom VVX 500 where in the menu you access the PDC functions to add this IP address. In this example, we're gonna be using the Polycom VVX 500. And what I want to do is access the home button in order to find the PDC function that I need. So first I'm going to press home and then I'm going to press the settings button. Where it says advanced, I'm going to press that. For this particular model, the password is 4567, press enter. Where it says administration settings, I'm going to press that. Now I'm going to scroll down until I see PDC configuration. Now PDC stands for Polycom Desktop Connector. Now what you want to do is you want to click on Enabled and your phone is going to reboot. Once the phone is rebooted, we're going to log back into PDC and we, uh, we're going to enter the IP address then. Now we want to log back into the menu settings of the Polycom VVX 500 and enter the IP address. So as you can see right here, where it says IP4 address, this is your IP address and it shows right here. What I want to do now is go back to the home button on the VVX 500, click on the settings button, go to basic. Now when I scroll down, an option appears that wasn't there before. So I'm gonna click on PDC configuration, and I'm gonna scroll to server address. This is the address of your laptop or PC. I'm gonna click on that. Now I can enter the IP address. I'm gonna click on mode, and right now it's on URL. I'm gonna click on IP, and I'm gonna enter my IP address. In this example, it is 10 star, a star creates a dot, 79 star 133 233 and now I'm going to press save I'm going to log back into PDC configuration and hit reconnect now I'm going to hit home 
home to go back to my home button. While it's reconnecting, it's looking for the machine. A small dialog box is going to appear on your screen and it says remote keyboard and mouse. Allow sharing with and it gives you the username of the laptop. You want to select yes. Then it says which side is your computer on left or right so in this example the actual computer is on my right side and my phone is on my left so I'm gonna say phone left now you're gonna see on your laptop or computer a small dialog box opens up and it says allow remote control of device it gives you the MAC address of the polycom phone you're using I'm gonna hit OK now you're gonna notice on the right hand side in the taskbar, the Polycom desktop connector is now red. I'm now able to scroll over to my Polycom. And as you can see here, I'm moving it with my mouse. I'm gonna click on line one. The speaker opens up and I can make a phone call using the keypad on my computer. I'm gonna press enter. Thank you for calling the and it begins to dial. Located in the time I'm going to scroll down. You can find a press end call. So as you can see, I have full control of my phone strictly using my mouse and keyboard.